Ladies and gentlemen, welcome into Common Hype. We're here in store today. As you guys can see, we've been running around the country a little bit, but we're finally back home for a little bit. We're in Kobe Swap Me next weekend, but for the time being, we will be home and we got some cool stuff uh, being announced in this video. But uh, real quick, Drew, if you just wanna, just wanna show them that right there, that's pretty cool, huh? Is that Common Hype? I've I never seen so. that brand before. Really? Huh. It's a new logo right there. Huh. Anyway, we'll get into that later, but uh, while you guys are here, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below, because we respond to every single comment and give away $25 to a random comment every single video. Drew, follow me over here this way, because the Yeezy wall, I haven't been in store in a while. You know, it looks Ooh. a little different than it last did. Gosh, the slides are looking good and it's summertime. Slides might be getting a little more expensive. You guys saw Brandon's uh, little investment call here a little while ago, and yeah, they're on the rise a little bit, but for you guys on Whatnot, May 1st, which is a Sunday, you guys can go onto our Whatnot page right now, go even bookmark the live, because we're going to be doing a retail rally on Yeezy slides which means that you guys can win Yeezy slides for retail okay what's retail Drew 60. 60 right yeah I think so wow so if you guys are a first time whatnot user that means you guys can also go down into the link in the description sign up using our link get an extra ten dollars off your first purchase which means you could be walking away with them for about 50 50 give or take after fees and shipping you could be right back at 60 but boom that's retail. You cannot get that value anywhere else. So make sure you guys tune into our Whatnot Live. Again, that is on May 1st, and you guys can go bookmark that now on our Whatnot page if you don't follow us already. But anyway, Brandon's got some unboxings and an investment call in this video. So we're gonna cut to that right now. All right, we got some unboxings. We just got back into town from Vegas. That was a long weekend, and uh, we're still struggling, but we're back. Myself and Drew will be at the shop today. Bryson's at home chopping up the Vegas footage for you guys. But the reason you guys are all in this video, because in this investment video, because of those boxes right behind me. Now I'm gonna open these boxes first and then we'll get into the investment call at the end of today's unboxings. It's always good to have some unboxes on a Monday. We buy a lot of stuff through our Cash App Discord. So again, if you guys are new to the channel and you're wondering how you can sell to us, go to the pinned comment down in the comments below and you'll see a link to a Discord server. That's our server called Common Cash Outs. Um, and that's where we buy your shoes. We negotiate a deal through Discord. You ship it to them. We legit check them, and then once we successfully legit check them, we pay you out. Another pair of Red Thunder 4s. We've been buying a ton of these. Uh, actually, it's just a great shoe. It's a Jordan 4 black and red colorway. You can just never go wrong on these. So shout out to the homie who sent these Red Thunder 4s right here. This package is from a buddy named Sahib. Looks like two pairs of foam runners from Sahib. He said, thanks Yama for buying two pairs of foams. If you wouldn't mind, shake my hand. And please insert two car crashes. Sorry, Bryce. I don't think Bryce is gonna insert the car crashes for you, but we appreciate the deal. I don't know what foam did I bought. What color foams? We bought vermilion. So we got some vermilion foams right here, size eight. This is a shoe that we sell a lot of here in store. The red colorway just really hits for our clients over here in Arizona. So I was happy to get back into these. So two pairs of a size eight and 10 vermilion. And if you're wondering, oh, well, I'm a size 10 or I'm a size eight and I'd like some pairs of vermilion foam runners, commonhypeaz.com. You guys can shop our website 24 seven. This is a medium size box right here. It's like we've got five pairs of dunks. And what dunks are they? These have been hotcakes for us in store. These two tone grays. Um, we'll talk about a little bit more about these, but let me see if there's any other dunks or if it's just two, two tones, something that I'm gonna get a pair of. Drew and I are gonna share, because we basically wear the same size. And then Bryson has his own pair as well. So shout out to the person who sent those. And last one before the big box, we got a package from our guy named Brian. University Blue Four and a size 10 right here. Remember how I just talked about Red Thunders and I really like them? University Fours, same thing. Now this shoe shot off a ton. Um, so I was really happy when I still had a bunch of pairs. Johnson actually has hundreds of these pairs. Speaking of Johnson, he also has a few Lightning Fours, which we think that the Lightning Fours are going to do the same thing as University Blues, but the Lightning Fours are going to take a lot longer to go up in value just because there were so many of them that released, but can never go wrong with a fresh pair of Fours. But now let's get into why we're all here. If you're in Good Chefs, you already got this call because Good Chef always gets the info first. And if you aren't in Good Chefs, there's a link down in the description below. You can join our waitlist. Basically what that means is if we have a member cancel, we let the top of the waitlist in to replace them. Uh, and we do that for all cancels. Now we don't get a lot of cancels, so the waitlist is long. I think we're almost 200 people deep now on the waitlist and that'll reach thousands and thousands as we continue to grow our channel um, and more people get interested into shoes. So um, I do recommend getting on that waitlist 
ASAP uh, because we don't let people in often and again, it's only when people cancel their membership. Um, but this shoe, which we actually unboxed earlier in this unboxing, this shoe is something that not only myself, not only Bryson, but Johnson agrees in heavily. And it's a shoe that Tommy can attest to. We sell a lot of them in store. Probably it's it could get oh. to even more of a hot cake than black and white dunks. Even though there's some reverse pandas right there, which I haven't unboxed yet. Yeah, they haven't seen these yet? No, they haven't. They actually oh. haven't seen the chlorophylls either. Hot cake, you heard it here first. Wait, they haven't seen the white peasies? Eric, give, give me both of those too. Okay, here's a few little early pairs. Ocean women sizes. Interesting shoe. Got like a light tone blue bottom, blue ocean bottom on top. And then I don't even know how to describe this, um, but that's the texture on the dunk. Um, I wouldn't say it's leather, but I don't know, crack leather, I guess. Uh, so this is the ocean dunk. This is in women's sizes only. You got the paisley, white paisley dunk, women's sizes only. These are extremely cheap right now, and everybody loves paisley. So we got those, and then we have the reverse pandas right here. When I first saw these come out, I was like, I was worried that they were gonna be like that black Air Force type energy, but uh, the, white uh, the white swoosh, the white midsole, and the white laces really offset. They make it look nice. A lot more wearable. Yeah, it looks great on feet. But anyway, back to the two tones. Gray toe box, outer gray on the leather, white midsole, gray bottom, white swoosh, silver Nike hit uh, on the back tab, heel tab, gray Nike tag, and white laces. This shoe would have done terribly if it did not have white laces, in my opinion. But the fact that it has white laces and the fact that it's a few different shades of gray makes this shoe extremely wearable. Because if you look at a shoe like the gray font right here, right? Which it just has the white toe box and the gray laces. This shoe hit up to 350 to even 400 on some sizes earlier before the sneaker market kind of tanked a little bit. Um, and now the shoe is slowly starting to climb back up. But if this shoe can do that, I believe this shoe can do it as well. Now sizes on these market on them right now is anywhere between 190 to 220, depending on the size. It hasn't officially released in the US yet, just overseas, but when they do officially release in the US, no matter how many pairs it is, I really think that's going to be the buy time for most of you guys, because this shoe is gonna hit 350 easily. Especially if a Georgetown Dunk that's navy and gray can hit that price point of 350 on your favorite apps. This two-tone gray with the white laces, again, key, white laces just makes it an extremely wearable shoe and a buyable shoe. And Johnson's favorite terminology is, is that in order for pairs to go up, people have to wear the shoes. It has to be wearable, but the more pairs that are worn, just like neutral gray lows, you always, you're gonna wanna double up on those. And as you wear them, they get dirtier, which means you have to get a new pair, which means this shoe is gonna go up. Kind of a long explanation, but just trust me when I say this shoe is a money $350 shoe all day. Obviously, it's gonna hit 275, then 300, then 325 first. Um, how long is it gonna take? I say by the end of summer. Back to school is really when sales start popping for all stores across the nation. And I think a lot of people buy these to wear back to school. And if they don't have them by Christmas, this is gonna be such an easy Christmas shoe. If anybody comes in, any mom's parents come into the shop and like, hey, we wanna get our pick, kid a pair of dunks, what's easy to wear, we we'll recommend these, the reverse pandas, or the regular panda dunk. So, uh, two-tone gray investment call. Hopefully you heard it here first. If you did not, good chefs heard it first. And again, be sure to join that waiting list down below in the description. Uh, but that's gonna wrap up this investment call. I uh, wish Johnson was here to give his little two cents on here, but uh, maybe in a future video he will. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're in store today. Tomorrow, we have something big planned that you guys are going to see Monday. We are doing the official lookbook of all of the Common Hype merchandise. You guys can see by the back of my tee right now. Get the little early look, all right? So we got about 10 to 12 tees dropping, uh, 12 pairs of shorts, and you guys are gonna see a full preview of that in Monday's video. It's, it's gonna be one of the coolest videos you guys have seen on the channel so far. Uh, but anyway, we are going in store today, and me and Drew are figuring out while we have the studio booked, we're also gonna get some content for the website, um, and then some other stuff that we're gonna put content on that you guys don't really know about yet. So we're gonna go around the store right now and kind of show you guys what goes through our mind when we're targeting uh, specifically some marketing stuff for the website, uh, marketing campaigns for emails, text messaging, and then again, the other platform that we haven't announced yet. So when we do the website, we just wanna have our main home screen like we usually have. So on that, I think we're gonna do a black and white dunk low, and then just to keep it pretty symmetrical, we're just gonna do the black and white dunk high right there. So for our Nike tab, our dunk tab online, um, I think that's what we're gonna roll with. And as you guys are seeing this, um, probably by next week when the lookbook drops, you guys can probably, you think by then, Drew? Yeah. It'll be up? Yeah. So you guys can go check out the new website. 
um, that we're gonna revamp a little bit. So as far as dunks, that's what we're gonna do when we're in the new store and we have access to a photo studio 24 seven that's gonna be built into the new store. We'll be able to shoot as much content as we want um, because I really wanted to like get some splash of colors and stuff. But um, just as far as time goes, our main focus tomorrow is gonna be on all of the clothing and stuff. All right, and then on the website, for those of you guys who have been there, we have a Yeezy tab. So we're gonna do a pair of Belugas, just one of our best selling Yeezys in store. And then we have a pair of the Stone Sages, uh, the foam runners. Drew actually has a pair that he was gifted to at the house. So we're gonna use that one. And then we're probably just gonna go with an Onyx slide. So we're just gonna go with best sellers on the website, get people's attention on the website when they're on, and hopefully get them to click some of these little graphics that we make for them and sell some shoes. So uh, best selling Yeezys as far as us goes, Onyx slides, uh, Belugas, and then any foam runner really. We're really sticking to colors there. Try to keep the palette nice. For yeah, you. so the, that, that theme will be kind of like the darker tones. We don't want to have too much color that kind of lets like a color theme. We were picking some shoes earlier and it was like a lot of fire reds. Thought about like the Chicago Dunks, um, even the St. John Dunks, but we don't want to have like too much of a theme. Uh, we just want to kind of have an evenly dispersed amount of color on the website. So for the off-white section, got to go with the Lemonades. That's a great color pop right there. You also have these, the OG off-whites. <laughs> Brand new pair. Would be cool to photograph, but I just feel like the lemonades are gonna pop a little bit more for like non-super sneakerhead people. Because not everyone that shops Common Hype AZ is a big sneakerhead like you guys. And you they could shop all that. everything they're seeing right yeah, now. Yeah, everything you guys are seeing. And then for the Jordan tab, gotta go with the mochas. Everyone knows the shoe. Everyone always wants the shoe, so. You gotta read the consumer habits a little bit, boys and girls. You gotta just give the people what they want. Show them what they wanna see. Get, get out their interest a little bit. Um, and then we're gonna do a little tab for Supreme. So we're just gonna grab this Supreme box logo. Again, the red catches your attention. Drew House. Didn't want to go too basic, so we just went with the standard smiley face and then in the purple colorway. And then for the V-Loan, we mostly only have like the darker V-Loan tee, so we just went with the green. Give it a little bit of a pop. Um, you guys may be asking, yes, we do carry V-Loan. Yeah, we do carry V-Loan, <laughs> absolutely we do. And then at the house, I already have a bunch of cool essentials pieces that we're going to shoot for the essentials tab. And then as far as that goes, this just basically needs to hold us over until we're in the new store. So for a couple of months, this is how the, it's going to be reworked. It's going to look a lot better for sure. Um, but there's a lot more that we still want to do and we're definitely going to fill you guys in on some of those things that we want to do here in the future But just as far as our space and time goes um, We're just going to do what we can make look good, but I think, I think we're going to kill it Drew I'm pretty f excited bro. I'm pretty fired up. We've been we've been having this lookbook planned out for At least a couple months already three or um, four But we just got all the pieces in some good stuff. All right, so we're excited to show you guys That's again is going to be in Monday's video. So don't miss Monday's video. I do promise you you're not going to want to miss Monday's video um, I actually am collaborating on that video. I'm not shooting it all by myself like I usually would. Uh, I got some extra hands on Monday's video and uh, we called them the big guns. All right, you guys think I'm good? Wait till you see who we got on the board, all right? So make sure you guys stay tuned for Monday's video. Turn on the post notifications so you don't miss it. We'll remind you uh, when that video goes live, probably 10 o'clock PST. But as far as that goes, we will be at Kobe Swap Meet in San Diego next weekend. And then after that, the events just keep on rolling. So we look forward to seeing you guys all there. Make sure you guys like this video. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. And of course, comment down below. Might, might win yourself 25 bucks, Drew. Ooh, I wanna win. Who knows? But anyway, thank you guys for tuning in and we'll see you guys in Monday's video.